So this video is going to go over photosynthesis and talk about light and talk about pigment and then go into the two reactions. So this is some of the, this is the first part of the video. We're going to cover this and I'm, hopefully this will be sh short. Brought to you by Curious Moran Land. All right, now let's start with what's important to understand the formula where this is taking place and who does this okay photosynthesis uses light to convert carbon dioxide it doesn't turn light into sugar it uses light energy okay? so we're going to first talk about light energy and before we do that we should understand the source of, in of energy for all the planet is the sun but not every, every organism can do that we this ultimate source of energy for cells is ATP so if you look at this this is your standard thing the reactants of one are the products of the other here are our oxygen oxygen and organic molecules glucose coming off a chloroplast they're being used in the mitochondria to produce ATP but then that's used by the cells the carbon dioxide and water are the products that are in turn going to be the reactants of photosynthesis so let's also who does it who does who does it don't think about plants it's protus algae cyanobacteria so there's more than just plants that do photosynthesis large large amounts of oxygen are released in the in the aquatic biomes by the uh, vegetation there or the plants the that are submerged or the protus that are part of what we call phytoplankton all right so let's uh, talk about light for one moment think about it like this um, the visible light is actually the light that's reflected back so let's and so we can actually put it it's a particle it's a wave it can be measured what well, light can be measured it's an energy source when you look at this this is the absorption so we absorb light what we don't absorb if you look here like chlorophyll chlorophyll does not absorb green and yellow and it's that's reflected back that's why chlorophyll is green and hence a lot of plants are green all right so this is just showing you um, the light hitting the chloroplast the green is reflected back but the rest of it is absorbed that is energy it's going to be used to do something in what we call the light reaction so quick little thing here's the actual structure of chlorophyll so it's one of the pigments there are some other pigments uh, like uh, beta carotene which is going to create that orangish color that you see with carrots so here's some other ones you got chlorophyll a b the carotenoids and really we can measure the wavelength all right and th what this is showing you says lights absorbed in different kinds of photosynthetic pigments and you'll see uh, the wavelength here um, down in the green spectrum this is the part that's absorbed the part that's reflected so the part that's absorbed is used so let's look at this um, here's some other colors and here's a chromatography lab that we'll hopefully do and let's look at here's a couple other pigments xanthophyll uh, anthocyanins are making purple and bluish colors so that's the pigments and they absorb light so let's get more into the nitty-gritty of actually what is photosynthesis and where does it take place all right um, one thing that we'll see you're gonna see this structure called NADP as far as you're concerned this is a hydrogen carrier molecule all right and light gets excited and electrons are going to generate ATP or they're going to generate this which is NADP with a hydrogen attached to it we call it pH we'll see that later all right so here's here's kind of what what do we mean photosynthetic pigment is absorbed all right that's energy it takes it to a higher level and that is going to allow for ATP or NADP to be produced all right it is it is a form of energy and as it says here photosynthetic pigments are going to release uh, be released and electrons are going to get excited and that's going to release heat or uh, or light all right so let's go back to here that was you know, all right pigments what is that's the big deal that's the energy source so we've talked about this now taking carbon dioxide combining it with water and getting an organic compound remember carbon dioxide is inorganic but what we're going to see is this is released this is used way before carbon dioxide comes in that's why we have two reactions let's think about the photo part and the synthesis part so now let's look at location and the reaction 
right? It takes place in leaves. If we're talking about plants, it takes place in the chloroplast, specifically in the leaves. So let's, let's, here's a cross section of a leaf. In the area called the mesophyll, there's palisade, and then there's spongy. Now we'll, here's a cross section of a leaf that we did in class. This is showing the mesophyll, and you'll notice xylem and phloem, all right? The arrows going in, this is carbon dioxide coming in, oxygen coming out. Water is coming from the xylem, and the glucose, after photosynthesis has produced it, is going to go down through the flow. So let's just look at, now let's dig inside and go to a chloroplast. There are two types of reactions that occur, and two locations, thylakoid and stroma. The stroma is like the cytoplasm, it's a jelly-like substance, and then inside the, the thylakoid is the, chroma, is the chlorophyll. And that's where the light reaction takes place. That's where the light absorption that I showed you earlier takes place. So let's look in here. All right, it says there's two phases. And look, this is a chloroplast. And watch these arrows. What's required? What's produced? Where do the products go? And that's what we want to focus on. So here's the light reaction. Just fill all this in. Pause the video at this point if you need to write this down. And here is the light independent also called the dark reaction or Calvin cycle. So we're going to wrap this up by looking at this short little um, picture and look at what's going in and where does it go. So here's this picture again. Let's start here. Light is going to hit the chlorophyll inside the thylakoid. Water comes in. See these arrows? There's something coming back. Let's fill this in. So if light comes in, water goes in and replenishes the thylakoid for the energy source that it is produced, which is this ATP. And then the hydrogens from water are going to get picked up by this structure called NADP. It's now called NADPH. Oxygen comes out. Notice water goes in, oxygen comes out. ATP and NADP, the H that makes up part of the glucose, C6H12O6, goes across. So this is light reaction, this is dark reaction. Carbon dioxide comes in here. Again, water comes in and oxygen is released way before carbon dioxide comes in. Notice these are in this kind of cycle. So ATP comes in, is used here. Used energy is called ADP. It goes back to the light reaction. NADPH drops this hydrogen off and it goes back to the light reaction. And the, again, this is the thylakoid. This would be the stroma. So see everything's labeled. All right, that's pretty much a wrap up of the pigments and the cycles brought to you by Curious Marineland.